Hi, this is Amy with Homeschool Tracker and welcome to our Getting Started Guide. In this video, we'll show you how to activate your account, set up your school, add students, and create your school year. The first step is to purchase either a one month or one year membership to Homeschool Tracker at www.homeschooltracker.com. After purchasing, you'll receive an email with an online activation code. Click the link in the email to activate a new subscription. Fill out the form and choose your desired username and password. If you click the link in the email, your activation code should already be entered. If not, enter the code from your confirmation email. Once you've completed the form, click on Complete Activation. You will receive an additional confirmation email showing that your account is now active. You can now log in using your username and password. One of the first things you'll want to do after logging into Homeschool Tracker is to set up your school profile. Click on School Profile in the Your Account section of the menu. A school name is the only required field to set up your school. It is a good idea to also set your school days so that non-school days are automatically skipped when using the scheduling tools. Entering additional information on the screen is also useful as it is used when generating transcripts and reports. After clicking Save Changes, your school is now set up. You can edit this information at any time and save your changes when complete. Next, we'll set up our students using the Student List menu item. A student's display name and full name are the only required fields. Additional information is used for reports and transcripts. Setting a student background color is useful if you have multiple students. This color will show up when viewing the agenda, making it easy to recognize individual student tasks. Click Save and your student is now created. For most users, the next thing we want to do is set up our school year in terms. This step is optional, but recommended since setting up your school year will help set limits and definitions in Homeschool Tracker. This is useful in tracking the required number of days needed for a school year and absolutely necessary for generating most reports, transcripts, and recording attendance. You can do this by clicking on School Year's Terms in the Manage List section of the menu. To add a new school year, select Action and click on Add. Name and start end dates are the only required fields. When entering in a start date, Homeschool Tracker will automatically set the end date to one year after the start date, but you can edit this to fit your schedule. If you have a required number of school days, enter it here. You can have anywhere from one to four terms within a school year. Start and end dates for each term can be customized, otherwise they will be automatically distributed evenly through your school year. Homeschool Tracker does some quick calculations to display the total possible school days available, how many free days you will have, or how many additional days are needed to meet your requirements. One important note to keep in mind, assignments must fall within the dates selected for your terms or they will not be factored into graded reports and transcripts. Clicking Save will save your changes and your school year is now set up. That does it for this Getting Started video. In our next video, we'll learn how to add assignments, chores, and appointments to the agenda. Thanks for watching.